Well, how do there, chums, does I, Captain of the Steves, and in today's episode, people, I'm going to show you what happens if you scrap this ship. Now, you know that when I ended off on my actual mission over on that terminal there, I had the wrong ship selected, so I can't fabricate any more of these into the verse. So why the heck would I go and scrap my only one of these Iron Falcons? Well, inside of the weekend mission, lucky enough, I bumped into Mr. Kettle, and Mr. Kettle was kind enough to gift me some ship parts. Oh, where have they gone? Well, bear with me one second, I will look for them. Oh, it's okay, I found them, there they are. So Mr. Kettle gave me these parts, so I can actually make one more of these ships. But before I go and make one more of these ships and use my own personal colours, I am going to duplicate those parts that Kettle gave me and I'm going to squirrel them away inside of one of my vaults on board of my freighter. So I'm just going to call in my freighter and I'm going to show you how you can duplicate ship parts should you need to. And this would be a prime example of when you might want to do that just in case you get bored with the colour scheme. So here we go, let's uh, go on over here. Or, if Hello Games introduce more shaders in the future, you might come across a shader that you like more, and of course this expedition would have ended, and everybody would be in the same boat as me, where you can't actually just fabricate these ships whenever you want anymore. You might have a different ship there after another expedition. So this is very much well worth doing, even if you're in a position right now to fabricate a fair few of those ships. It's rather costly too. But anyway, if you head on up here, Onto your actual freighter bridge when you're in the actual build area. I'm just going to pop outside these doors. I'm going to do it here. But what I'm going to use, I'm going to use my portable refiners. Okay. Now you can see there I can only build one at the moment. So all I'm going to do is just chuck my game into creative mode for a moment. Go. Now I can put down as many of these refiners as I like. Okay, right. You can see that it says unlimited. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the first ship part so the one that I, I want to actually duplicate so here we go let's find the ship part where are you ship parts okay so as you can see there there we are we get the cockpit put that in there and then I need to get the the refiner put that directly on top of the other one like so and then just keep doing that with the amount of refiners that I want to do this with. So I'm probably going to maybe duplicate, say, five of these, perhaps. Uh, okay. Um, about there. Hmm, that's a bit odd. It's, it's not really let me put it directly on top anymore. I wonder if they've tried to nerf this. Okay, let me just stand back a little bit further. Let's try that again. Now this does work better for some reason on the planet's surface. Oh, there we go. That's a bit better. Right, let's try picking them up and let's see if this works. Because it wasn't right on top. There you go. I got two extras out of there. Let's try it out again. Boom. I'm going to go down and see if I can find other shifty parts. Got quite a lot of cack inside of my freaking inventory, haven't I? There you are. And I'm going to be doing it with the Iron Vulture wings this time. Boom. And same method again. Just putting these on top of each other. So there we go. It seems to work better if you don't go into build camera mode at the moment. There you go. And now it's bang on top. Like so. There goes my doorbell. Okay, Jums, well, let's go and pick this up then. A ya. Boom, 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 boom. Lovely. Well, we've got the vulture wings. Okay, and we're going to do the same again with the tail. You know the drill. I'll reconvene after I've done the tail. Okay, right, so I've got the tail in here now. Now, I'm only doing a few. I mean, you could go to town and make loads, you know. Right, now I just need to scroll all that away inside of my freighter, and I should have quite a number of vaults. I mean, they made the vaults a lot bigger now. I don't think I've got one that's empty by any stretch of the imagination. I've got stuff pretty much everywhere. I'm going to stick it in the last one, though, with the fuels. Might as well. 
It's a shame there's not like an auto sort button on all this sort of stuff. I used to keep all my infantry quite tidy. I haven't for some time, admittedly. Right, okay, so now I need to find all of these ship parts somewhere inside of my infantry. Oh, here they are. So I've got five of those wings. I'll just stick them in um, my freighter at the moment. Uh, okay, um, storage container inventory. Let's hope that it goes into the right one. I mean, I did select it, didn't I? Oh, look, we've only got two heads, though. We've only got two heads of the ship. Yeah, that's because I messed up on the first one. So I'm just going to duplicate a few more heads of the ship. Have they gone into the right slot on my freighter? They didn't. Okay, so now I've got to find them somewhere in all of this mess, which could be fun. Oh, there they are right there in the second one. That'll do. They can be there. So I've got five and six of those. All right, I'll just try and make some more heads. Okay, now if I pick these up. Boom, boom, boom. So I've got six of them now as well. Okay, so somewhere in here anyway, I've got the six of them. There they are. And we'll put those over into my storage container. And they should now be on my freighter. There they are. I've got 666. And now what I will be doing is when I scrap my ship, I'm going to claim the wing. So I've got six of each then. But for now, really what I want to do is just put these back into my exosuit for now. Because obviously I want to be able to build a ship. Now, Mr. Kettle was also kind enough to give me one of these, which is an S-Class Reactor. Now, I could clone that as well, or you can just buy yourself an S-Class Reactor. I only need the one to make the one ship at this stage, so I'm all good right now. Okay, so now the duplication went well. I'm just going to make a manual save, just to save the fact that I have got all those lovely ship parts. Six is more than enough for me. And then I am going to go get myself over to the station. And I'm going to be taking this ship because I'm going to scrap it to show you what happens to see if you get all three parts or whether you just get the one part and you get to select what part it is. I think it's going to be like any other ship is why I, I kind of think I'm going to scrap it and claim the wing. But we shall see. OK, so I need to get myself to the station and the station seems to be eluding me at this precise moment in time. There it is over there. Right. I'm going to fly on in. And I'll see you at the scrapping terminal. Right, here we go. Let's interact with the scrapping terminal. And, uh, yeah, I, I want to scrap my hauler. Oh, firstly, I need to go over here and scrap it here. So here we go, ship outfitting. Let's do the scrapping. Okay, begin salvage analysis. This is making me feel nervous, but I have done that manual save. So extract customization module is the option that I want. And yes, look, you can only select one. So I'm going to salvage the wings. So I've got six of each. Sweet. There we go. And all we got was one wing. Oh, God. So yeah, if you are lucky enough and you've finished the actual um, expedition the correct way and you've got that ship there, you can refabricate more and scrap them. Right, I'm going to head on over here then. And I'm going to build my freighter. I'm going to put in the S-Class reactor that um, Mr. Kettle gave me. Thank you, Mr. Kettle. I'm going to put in one of the actual cockpits. One of the wings. And the tail. Oh, that looks pretty darn groovy as it is, doesn't it? You know? But we've got these new paint schemes. So there's the metallic theme, which we already had before. We've got stealth paint, which gives it this sort of army type look. And I would like to see it in white, with maybe a touch of red. And then maybe black. Now that looks pretty darn cool, doesn't it? That does look pretty awesome. That looks like a war machine. Now, I'm a big fan of the film, the um, series Mandalorian. Out of all the stuff that Disney's done so far, Mandalorian and um, maybe Boba Fett have been my favourite. Sound off in the comments, let me know which one's your favourite. But, um... I kind of want it to look like the Razor Crest, so I'm going to go for this paint style. And I think that looks a far more rusted. It looks it looks kind of Starfield-esque, kind of a little bit more Mandalorian-esque. But yeah, I'm thinking maybe, should I go for the white as the... I think, I think white as the main body would be better than going for red and then going for the white as the sub. Yeah, I, I think I kind of like... The more white approach on this one so i think i'm going to go for the white and then go for the red what about the brighter red i think maybe that dark red is probably more in keeping with my color scheme i think that kind of works well 
for what I'm hoping for. Let's have a look at the other accent colour in red. Okay, that makes it a bit redder, doesn't it? And But it's still got quite a lot of black on it. So if I put it back to black for a second. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to have that because I like the tailpiping. Yeah, all the tailpiping's all gone red. Look at that. That looks a lot better. I think I'm happy with that as its colour setup. Yeah, I think that's me. I think that's me. Right, OK, let's assemble. Now you're going to get random stats above my head. You can see these bars moving, OK? It doesn't matter when you actually press assemble. You're just going to get randomly assigned stats and you're also going to get randomly assigned boosted slots. OK, and you can see here, I can't see where my boosted slots are, which sucks. Um, but hopefully, oh no, there's one boosted slot right there. OK, well, I'll proceed anyway. It looks far more grey there than it does white, though, doesn't it? I hope it comes out the colours that I've selected rather than the colours that I'm seeing right now. OK. All right. Well, I have got six parts if this does go wrong, but it should be. What, what's on the freaking pad? Proceed. OK, and add to collection. OK, cool. Let's uh, let's take to the skies and let's just fly out of here quickly. That does look pretty darn awesome. I'm just hoping what you see is what you get. I'm hoping it stays these colours. Let's just fly into the old Nexus and let's have a look, see. Add it in all of its glory. Zoom. Let me in, Nexus. If I go into camera mode now, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That doesn't like that. What's it called, my ship? Habirat of Abstraction. I'm going to have to change that. Okay. <laughs> Happy rat. <laughs> it's like habitat. Okay, here we go. Yeah, that looks that looks pretty darn freaking epic. Yeah, I like that. That looks cool. Yes. I have an awesome ship now, people. Well, I think I do anyway. Let us know in the comments. Let us know what you think. Do you th what do you rate this ship? I think that looks epic. Personally, you know, I'm happy with it. And that's all that matters, isn't it, really? And um, now my next videos are going to be me tooling this up, expanding all the slottage. And um, oh, actually, I could could have done that while I was in the station. Actually, couldn't I come to think of it? But we'll do that in the next episode. This was more about me building out my custom one, showing you what happens if you scrap the Iron Falcon, and also how you can duplicate parts. So right now, I've probably got a shed load of those parts still left. Yeah, look, we've got five there. I go put all these away, I think, inside of my uh, freighter for a rainy day. But there we go, people. OK, chums. So, yeah, hopefully that's given you all you need to actually duplicate your own parts, have your own little mini repository of bits and bobs to make your own Razor Cresty type looking ship, Iron Falcon. Yeah, so there we are. There we are. If, you, if you found this useful and helpful, please smash that subscribe button. And hopefully I'll see you again for my next No Man's Sky video. I mean, I do do other content too. I do my daily vlogs of my life with Ivy. And also talks videos as and when I find something interesting or fantastical on the internet of UFOs, ghosties, cryptids, all that sort of stuff. Haven't come across anything that's overly convincing for a long time on that front, people. If you do come across something, hit me up. Send it over to me. DM it to me if you found something on TikTok. You're like, oh my god, look at this giant freaking Loch Ness monster or something. You know, that'd be freaking awesome. Till next time, salute to Mondo. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again. Ooh, Dr. Pong, thank you for supporting the channel. Thank you from Captain Steve. Check out Dr. Pong's channel, they cover No Man's Sky As well as other games, new things they often try Dr. Pong has a sidekick called Noodle A cute little dog, not quite a poodle A fluffy bundle of cuteness Check out Dr. Pong's channel, they cover No Man's Sky as well as other games, new things they often try Thank you all for watching And thank you Dr. Pong Salute a to you and a
no seven to all of my backers. Dr. Pong, salute Armando to you And an 07 to all of my backers Check out Dr. Pong's channel